Hello brothers and sisters, hope you are all well and sound. Today, the topic for today is to talk about love. Lovely topic. Hope you all agree with that as being children of God. Because it's very, very important to love. And I'm going to use the scriptures to clarify the importance of that. So the scriptures is from uh, 1 John 4, 7. And it says, Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Um, whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. This is how God showed his love amongst us. He has sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him. Okay? And I might and I'm gonna jump some scriptures, okay? So I'm going to eleven now. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us, and His love is made complete in us. Okay? We know that God, we know that we live in Him, and Him in us, because He has given us of His Spirit. Okay? And then it says, um, in 16, And so we know that we rely on the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in him. And in this way, love is made complete amongst us so that we will have confidence on the day of judgment because in this world we are like him. Okay, so I'm just going to stop here. I'm not very keen to read the scriptures while making the videos because sometimes it can get a bit confusing and... Um, um, to explain things and I'm not like a, a pro doing this job I've just started it I prefer to explain things and then put the scriptures in the description okay but it is as we just heard important to love because as it says in the Bible God is love okay if we want to have God inside of us, we must love. It's through loving that we call on God inside of us. When we feel the importance of loving and understanding about the importance of that, we call on God inside of us. Loving everyone, every single one, not just... Um, People that have done good things for us or not, or just anyone, you know. Because also says, on 19, we have, we love because he first loved us. If anyone says, I love God, yet hates his brother, is a liar. Okay? For anyone who does not who does not love his brother whom he has seen cannot love God whom he has not seen and he has given us this command whoever loves God must also love his brother okay and another thing we don't know who really for sure can be our brothers or not because we are made brothers through spirit in the first place and through what we believe Okay, the true beliefs about God. A lot of people go under the titles of being from certain religious titles, okay, but at the end of the day, they live, they might live ungodly ways, okay, if they live in ungodly ways, they can never be child of God. If they don't love, if they don't show love for other people, they can never be ch children of God, okay, because being children of God is living and being 
as it says in the Bible, we are like him in this world. Okay, and this is another thing to be confident about being saved or not being saved. Having Jesus Christ, acknowledging that Jesus Christ, that God has sent Jesus Christ to die for us on the cross and everything. Okay, having Jesus as our Lord and also loving it's the key for everything. Living in godly ways and showing love is definitely the key. Because as it says in also in the Bible, love covers a multitude of sins. Okay? Because this is for us to understand the importance of showing love. Okay? It covers a multitude of sins. And people there are actually children of God. They are unfortunately in this world having no credit at all. And those who aren't are those who are having the credit, but they are not, nothing but wolves and sheep masks. This is why I make the video about the, the importance of having these names believer and unbeliever. Okay? Because anyone who rejects the gospel is an unbeliever. Anyone who accepts is a believer and is a child of God. And anyone who lives under the light is living under the Spirit of God and is, is being accepted by God because he is someone that is capable of loving and has repented and has changed his ways. Anyone who preaches about God and doesn't preach about love, guess what? Is not teaching you about God at all. Not just that God loves us, but we must love other people. That's important. That is a must. Anyone who preaches must preach to other people and encourage other people to show love for one another. Because loving is the key for everything. If we reject to love, we are rejecting God. If we accept to love and if we are willing to love and show love for the people we are accepting the God and we are being God we are being like him not literally God God but we are being like him because he is love there is no other way we need we must show love for other people even for our enemies because I'm going to be honest to you, without my enemies, I wouldn't be doing this job now. Because through my enemies, I found out who I was and my purpose. So to be honest with you people, I love my enemies more than those who call themselves my friends. And because... I found out also how much God truly loves me and how much I mean to God. Which I wouldn't have done it if it wasn't for them. They made me know that. It's, it's funny how God makes a bad situation turn into a blessing. A problem turning into a blessing. For us to see His glory in our lives. His rescue in our lives. You know. God is love. Don't fear to love. Because many people say that they love God. Okay. But then they don't like um, other brothers or sisters. Okay. It's not possible. Like how the Bible says it. And also some people say that they love God. But then they fear to do the work of God. God has called so many people to work for him. Okay. But then they don't have the courage to do the work for him. Why? Because they fear. But if we fear to do the work for him. To preach for him. Or to you know, to answer his call. Our love for him is not perfect. And neither is our faith. Because we lack in faith. That's why we fear. If anyone has is strong in faith, is made strong in faith, shouldn't fear at all. 
in the love is made perfect. Okay, so I hope I'm saying, you know, some points of that, the importance of loving and encouraging every single one of us to show love, you know, because there is no other way. If you want to feel special, just love. Forget about having expensive things or being a celebrity or blah, blah, blah. Show love. The amount of peace you'll receive in your heart, the amount of happiness you'll get in your heart is just nothing to compare with it. You'll feel proud of yourself. You'll feel proud more so on your judgment day. Instead of you being fearing whether your name is in the book of life or not, you just go there with confidence in your judgment. If you will have one. This is why I keep encouraging every single one of you, whether your name's in the book of life, keep trying more, keep trying harder, because I know that many of you already have the names in the book of life. More so, there is one of you that asked me if the name is in the book of life. Um, I mentioned this to my friend, and he said that, uh, yeah, the name is in the book of life. But I already knew that anyways. Um... Because I can feel your spirit, okay? And I know for certain that many of you, more so those that um, I'm in, in contact through messages and stuff, you know, it's easier to feel your spirit and be more close to you through the messages. And uh, I 100% know that most of you, if not all, have your names in Book of Life. Uh, I'm not saying this for you to be, you know, sending me comments or anything, but I'm just saying because that are the people that I, I get in touch the most and I can feel their spirit and I know um, the most too that I can mention of. But the other ones, not so much, so. Um, but yeah, carry on showing love as much as you can, okay? We children of God are meant to love. Okay, this is why sometimes we end up engaging in bad relationships because we feel like we are not living life. We are not, you know, doing what we're supposed to do. There is something that is lacking, which is love. But if we truly surrender ourselves to the Lord to receive His unconditional love, and we also giving this unconditional love to people, trust me, you know, feeling like nothing is lacking in our life. You don't feel like you need anything else. Nothing is missing in your life. You'll feel so blessed, so better that you can ever feel before. If we show love for other people, we don't have to fear about having our names in the book of life or not whatsoever. And live in godly ways as well. It's important. Okay? So... That is nothing to fear. It's not a big deal, you know. It shouldn't be a big deal for a child of God to to be loving. It should, because it's our nature, you know. And another secret that I want to reveal to you people is this. Devil knows those who are children of God and they are meant to love a lot. And because of that, he might make us go through some bad relationships to break our hearts for us to say that I will never love again. Okay, and automatically by saying that or putting that in our own brains and minds, we are breaking the two most precious commands, which is to show love for one another and for the Lord and for God. Okay, so let 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 us put the past behind. Okay, in the bean and be what we are meant to be, which is true children of God by showing love to one another. Okay. So I pray that this video will help us to be more encouraging and more loving to one another and to not despise to love and to feel more, more encouraged to bring light to other people's life to, 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 in many different ways by cheering them up, by giving them advices, by encouraging them, by helping them even in financial ways if we can. And uh, I pray that the Lord will give us you know, peace as we do so and other blessings as well. And um, I say all these words in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Bye-bye. Take care.